Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I wanted to show you a little project that I just completed not too long ago. This is a shop made spark plug tester. And what inspired this was I was at an engine show years ago. I'd been working on an engine, thought I had it pretty good. Bought a brand new spark plug, put it in the engine, cranked it up. And the engine ran all day very well. Got up the next morning and went to crank the engine up. Wouldn't crank. Ended up that my brand new spark plug was the problem. Replaced this brand new spark plug and it started up. Similar thing happened a little bit later. I was working on an engine and couldn't get any spark. And ended up thinking that the magneto was bad, so we took the magneto apart, rebuilt it, charged it, and still no spark. Come to realize the spark plug was bad. So I built this little tester. Now the first thing I do is when I get an engine is to test a spark plug. So this little tester is um, my my design. Um, if you look at uh, Shop Dog Sam's channel, he has a really good design also, and you can make your own. But let me tell you, show you how I set this up. This one is used as a Model T buzz coil, and I'm going to tilt it back here. Um, you can see here I got uh, the positive on the battery. Uh, goes up to the top on in one side of the micro switch. And the other side of the micro switch, the, the red wire comes out and goes down to the positive side on the back of the Model T buzz coil. I chose to ground the system coming out of the bottom of the Model T buzz coil over here to an alligator clip. And what that allows me to do kind of acts like a safety switch. So then whenever I want to make the thing live, I can just plug on the alligator switch and take it off and it makes it safe to use. So how I test a spark plug is with this micro switch right here. So we'll come down and hook up, sorry, Hook up our battery alligator clip. Okay, she's on there. Now coming out of the Model T buzz coil to the bottom of the spark plug is an alligator clip. Just as if you were going to hook up a spark plug to this thing and run a run an engine. And so what I do is put my handy dandy spark plug in there. Uh, head down and uh, put my alligator clip on there like that on the back side of the spark plug. Take this green wire here, which is grounded to the plug and back to the battery. Put that on the bottom of the plug and hit this micro switch and we should get a spark. See if I let me turn this light off and see if that helps it make it a little bit better. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me see if I can get a better view. Let me turn the flash off on the camera and see if that works any better. Okay, hopefully you can see that. So just by touching this micro switch, it completes the circuit and that tells you if your plug is bad. Um, so I know everybody's getting ready to start working in their shop and get some stuff done. So if you're so inspired, you can build you something like this to test your plugs. I actually carry this with me to the shows. And um, that way I know I can instantly avoid a problem. Uh, what I chose to do is carry my little gauge here to test my gaps. And uh, I drilled two holes for a big plug and a small plug. So if you are, are so inspired, um, build you a spark plug tester. I think it'll help you eliminate problems very easy. Um, there's several guys on YouTube that have them. Uh, they, they built their own design. 
this is just my design and uh, check all those out and build you a spark plug tester. Hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.